the CCP's One Belt, One Road, Southeast Asian Crime Hotbed. Recently, Taiwan's Central News Agency has reported that a number of Taiwanese people have been lured into seeking jobs in Cambodia by high-wage job offers, but suffer inhuman abuse and have their passport confiscated and personal freedom restricted there. Sihanoukville, Cambodia, has the highest number of related cases. It is understood that Cambodia's West Court has always been a strategic center of the CCP's One Belt, One Road initiative. The influx of a large number of funds, labor, and infrastructure has transformed the formerly peaceful Westport into a hub for Chinese-funded enterprises and casinos in just a few years. In recent years, Westport has become the criminal capital of the CCP's casinos, online gambling, and fraud. Taiwanese police sources say that almost all of the founders behind the fraud group in Cambodia's Westport are the CCP. The groups are managed militarily, with members being beaten and placed under house arrest if they fail to meet their expectations. These criminal groups also refer to their members who are responsible for making phone calls to commit fraud as piggy. Some mainlanders and Taiwanese have gone to Cambodia to find jobs after being tempted by high-salary advertisement on the internet, but unexpectedly ended up falling into the crutches of these criminal groups. In addition, Malaysia is also known as the home base for the CCP's organized crime group to engage in online fraud and telephone fraud. The CCP operates payments in local banks and WeChat to trick internet users into transferring prepayments. Since 2000, the Philippines has become a base for online gambling in Asia. Online gambling is worth up to 1 billion US dollars annually, with more than a quarter of that revenue associated with illegal activities. In recent years, after the Philippines and Cambodia began cracking down on these crimes, some of the CCP's criminal groups has moved to Burma, led by the Dongmei Group in the Sisaigon industrial area of Kayin State, owned by the head of Macau's 14 k Gong, Wang Guokui. In March of this year, a U.S. think tank report clearly pointed out that the CCP has been using the Belt and Road Initiative as a cover to organize criminal groups to engage in online fraud, gambling, human trafficking for prostitution, smuggling of rare and exotic animals and animal-derived traditional Chinese medicines, and laundering of huge amounts of black money illegally made in the CCP's territory, etc., doing false advertising.